The notes for Unit 7, Lesson 4 will cover molarity. So molarity deals with concentration. So by the end of the notes, you should be able to describe what molarity is and can calculate the molarity of a solution. So these are three terms that you'll see with, con or with molarity. Concentration, dilute, and concentrated. So concentration, which is the same as molarity, is a measure of the s amount of solute that is dissolved into a given quantity of solvent. So if you want to make a little note, concentration is the same as molarity. So you'll see the two terms kind of used intermittently. A dilute solution, so as you can see from the picture, the dilute solution is the one on the far left. Um, that is a solution that contains a relatively small amount of solute, whereas a concentrated solution, which is over here on the far right, um, is a solution that contains a large amount of solute. Here's a hilarious meme. What do you call a tooth in a glass of water? A one molar solution. So molar is the term we use that goes with molarity. We would say we have a one molar solution or a three molar solution. I know, hilarious. All right, here is molarity. So molarity, the unit, is a capital M. So when you label your answer, you'll label it with a capital M. And it stands for the number of moles of solute dissolved into one liter of solution. And so when we're talking about a liter of solution, that's the solute and the solvent together. It's not just the solvent. And so here's the equation. Molarity is moles per liter. So moles of solute per liter of solution. So when you're doing these problems, the volume has to be in liters. And so if you're given a volume in milliliters, then you do have to convert it. All right, so here are a few sample problems from your notes. What is the molarity of a solution that contains 0 0.00372 moles of HCl in 0 0.0239 liters of solution? So molarity we know is moles per liter. So in this case, we want to know molarity, which is our unknown. We're given moles of HCl. So that is one piece of information that we're given. And we are also given liters. So this one, we can just plug in the numbers. There's no extra work that we have to do. Oops, maybe I'll put it. Oh. All right, 0 0.00372 divided by 0 0.0239. So you get a molarity of, oops, sorry, my pen isn't working very well. Ah, yikes, it's really struggling. 0.1556485536. Okay, so now we have this huge long answer. We have to round to sig figs. So the number here, 0 0.00372, has three sig figs. Because remember, these leading zeros don't count. They are just placeholders. Um, the volume value has three sig figs as well because again, those leading zeros are just placeholders, so they don't count. So we would wanna keep three sig figs. So the six will cause the five to round up. So molarity is going to be equal to 0.156. And then, like I said, you would label um, the capital M after the number to show that that is the molarity. You can label it with a capital M or you could actually keep the moles per liter. So both of those would be basically the same answer um, and you could use, you know, interchangeably because they would mean the same thing. So you could label it either way. All right, here's our second problem. So we want to calculate the molarity. So our molarity is our question mark. The flask contains 15.4 grams of K2SO4 and we are given 125 milliliters of solution. So remember our formula is moles per liter. Whoops, I'm gonna rewrite my L. So moles per liter. 
We do not have moles, but we have grams. So you have to dig back into trimester two into your mole conversions. Um, so we'll have to first convert grams to moles. So if we wanna know how many moles we have, you start with your number of grams, K2SO4. And then remember whatever unit you start with on the top gets transferred to the bottom of the next step. So if we have grams on the bottom, we have to find how many grams are in one mole. So hopefully you remember from back in the day when we covered grams to mole conversions, um, the molar mass, which you find, comes from the mass value on the periodic table. So if you need to make a little note that that mass comes from the periodic table. So you would need your yellow packet. If you look on the front page of your yellow packet, um, potassium is 39.10. In your formula, it's K2SO4. So you have two potassium. So you take that times two plus the mass of sulfur, which is 32.07, plus four times the mass of oxygen, which is 16. So for my molar mass, I get a value of 174.27 grams. So the unit grams cancels out. Remember for these, you multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. So you would take 15.4 divided by um, 174.27, and you get an answer of point, whoops, point zero eight, yikes. Sorry, 0 0.088368. Let's see how many I can fit in there. Um, so really you don't want to round until the very end, but this number is going to be moles. So now we have to do step two of the problem, um, which is now we have to find the molarity. So for if we are given moles, so we can plug that number in up here. So molarity is moles per liter, so I'm going to put the moles up here. And then divide by liters. Well, we're not given liters, we're given milliliters. So if you remember um, from long ago, probably last year or two years ago even, um, there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. And so if you move the decimal to the left three places, that will allow you to convert milliliters to liters. So 125 milliliters would be 0.125 liters. So you'll always have to divide by a thousand or move the decimal three places because the number that you put on the bottom has to be in liters. Whoops. So 0.125 liters. So now we have moles and we can take moles divided by liters. And we get an answer of 0 0.706948987. And then, of course, now we have to round to sig figs. So 15.4 has three sig figs. 125 has three sig figs. So I'm going to keep my three sig figs. So my final answer would be 0 0.707 molar. So you would have a 0 0.707 molar solution. Um, if you added 15.4 grams of solute into 125 milliliters of that solution. All right, last one. So this one is asking what mass of Li2PO4 would you need to make 2.5 liters? So let's do our, we want to know how many grams. We have a volume of 2.5 liters and we are given a molarity of 1.06. So there's two ways that you can solve this problem. One way is to use the equation and to kind of do a plug and chug type method. So if we know molarity is moles per liter, we can plug in the molarity of 1.06, which is given. We don't know moles, so that would be our question mark. And then liters, we are given 2.5 liters. So if you had this set up and you were going to solve for moles, you would want to get the 2.5 out of the denominator 
So you would take each side times 2.5 liters. So 2.5 times 1.06 gives you, and that would be moles. So it'd be 2.65 moles. Now we're looking for mass, so we have to do a conversion. We know in one mole of Li2PO4, we can look on the periodic table and find the molar mass. So again, you would look on the masses in the periodic table. So lithium is 6.94 times 2 plus phosphorus is 30.97 plus four oxygens, so four times 16, and I get a mass of 108.85. Moles cancels out with moles. So you would take 108.85 times six, or sorry, 2.65. And I get 288.4525. For sig figs, um, if you look back in the problem, 2.5 liters has two sig figs. 1.06 has three, so we have to round this off to two sig figs. So this would actually be 290 grams. So remember, grams is up here. That's the only unit that didn't cancel out. So we'd have to put in 290 grams of lithium phosphate to make this particular solution. So that's one way that you can do this problem. I'll show you the second way. Um, and really, as long as you show your work, either method is fine. So you can actually plug all of this into a conversion. So if we want to note grams, we know the volume from up here. We also know the molarity. So if you have 1.06 moles, or sorry, a 1.06 molar solution, what this means is that you have 1.06 moles of solute dissolved into one liter. So now this is like a new conversion factor that you can use and plug into the problem. So if you start with your volume, 2.5 liters, remember whatever unit you have on top goes on the bottom of the next step. So this conversion factor here, the moles per liter, that is our second step. So in one liter, to make this solution, we'd have to dissolve 1.06 moles of Li2PO4, because that's our solute. Liters cancels out. This leaves us with moles, and now we're just doing a mole to gram conversion. So in one mole of Li2PO4, we know from the molar mass on the periodic table, because we already added it up, that we have um, 108.85 grams. So if you love these conversions, you can actually just always plug these, um, the numbers in. And as long as the units cancel out, um, you'll get the same answer. So we'll just double check to make sure we do get the same thing. So 2.5 times 1.06 times 108.85. And we get 288.4525, which then would round to 290 grams. So either method is fine. Like I said, as long as you show your work and show the process of your thinking, um, you'll be good to go. All right, so I think that's our last problem. So, um, so some of the problems you'll solve for molarity, some you'll solve for volume, and some you'll solve for moles. But sometimes you do have to make that extra step where you're converting grams to moles or moles back to grams. So um, let me know what questions you have.